Hello again, this is Corey Dahl, and this is the fourth podcast on using Sketchbook Pro. To recap, we've begun drawing, we've looked at the help section, we've added layers, and then we've merged those layers together, and now let's just focus on adding some text. So, we're typically clicking on this right here, so let's tap on that with our finger, and then go to the top and we're going to select this A. Now this brings up a window. Now what we can do here is we can type and it shows up in this area what it is we're typing. We can adjust the font and the colors and the size and things like that. So it could be just a comment about this drawing. It could be what this person is saying or whatever it is. So let's just type something in there. Um, let's just type sketchbook Sketchbook Pro is awesome. And then let's look at the font. Just, just by tamping on the font. And we can pick which font we want. So let's just pick this one. Okay, we can adjust the size if we wish. And notice as I'm dragging it to the right, it's actually making it bigger on the page. So we'll just leave it pretty small. And then when you're done, just like anything else, you just click on done with your finger. Now I have this, this big sentence, this long sentence here. Now there's one issue with this. Just like anything else, this Sketchbook Pro is awesome sentence. I added to a layer and I didn't add it to a layer by itself. So we're going to have to redo this. Look where it is. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on the layers and notice that it's added it to this layer. So now when I go to move this sentence around, it's going to move not only the sentence but this guy here. So let's redo this, if that makes sense. Okay, let's undo this sentence because I don't want it with this person. Okay, so we're going to undo, and I can take three fingers onto the iPad, and I can swipe my three fingers to the left, and I can undo the last thing that we did, or three fingers to the right, we'll redo it. Okay, three fingers left, undo. Now this is just the last thing that we've done here, so that's what it's taking away. It'll undo several but only in that session. So if I were to continue to draw, it'll undo several things. And I, I do not think it's an, an endless ability to undo things, but just a few steps. Okay? All right, so let's add this back correctly in its own layer. And then we're going to come up here, and we're going to click on the layers. Let's add a layer. I'll touch that with my finger. Now I have a layer right here. We'll put this up at the top. And now when I add my text, since this one's highlighted, this is where it will be added to. Then I can move that around. So let's click on A again. I still have it in here, so I don't even have to retype it. We know it's pretty big, so let's make it a little smaller. Okay, so let's just click on this right here and make it pretty small. And then we'll click Done. Okay, now it is its own layer, so I can now move this around. I can put it up here or down there. Remember how we do that? We touch here, we go up to the top, and we select this. And now it's free transform as to where I can take two fingers now, and I can move this around. Okay, maybe I want it here like this. I can even make it smaller by pinching in, or larger by pinching out. Okay. Maybe I want it right there. Very easy to add text. And the key here, once again, is layers.